Today I'd like to discuss overthinking. I'm sure you can relate to times when your thoughts have just been like an obsessive loop. You're going over and over a situation or a conversation that you've had. Maybe you're wishing that you'd said something different or behaved in a different way. Or maybe you're just trying to figure out how to behave in the future. And it can get really tiring when all you find is yourself just coming back over and over this thought. So I found myself in that experience a couple of days ago with something that happened and I I just couldn't let it go. I was like a dog with a bone. But there are things you can do and I thought it might be helpful just to walk you through how I deal with things like that and how I help my clients. So the first thing is awareness. It's noticing that it's happening. And you may just be aware of the thoughts in your head looping around and around. Or you may notice it more in a behaviour. So perhaps you eat more of the wrong kind of food or you drink more alcohol. For me, my go-to is busyness. So suddenly I get very busy with doing things to distract that thinking and to distract the feelings. The other way you might notice is in body sensations. Maybe a tightening of the shoulders, a knot in the stomach, shallow breathing, something like that. And it can be really helpful to think of these looping thoughts like a young puppy or a toddler that needs our attention. Now what we try to do with our thoughts is resist them, turn away from them, distract ourselves away from them or stuff them down in some way. But any parent of child or fur child will know that that doesn't really work. And all that happens is the child or the puppy, they just get louder and more intense at wanting your attention, and quite rightly so. So what do we do in those situations? Well, we turn to them and we let them know that we're here, that we're listening, and that they're safe and we're going to help them. And it's no different for your thinking. Now this can be scary because sometimes we don't want to face our thoughts and our feelings. We're worried that if we do, loads of stuff will come tumbling out that we won't be able to deal with. That's why we numb ourselves with busyness or alcohol. But the truth is, the majority of the time when we turn and face, those feelings and that intensity start to dissipate. Just like that child that's been heard or that puppy that's finally been let out through the back door. So the invitation next time you find yourself circling in those ever looping thoughts is to just sit for a moment and close your eyes and turn towards those thoughts, all those sensations in your body. And just breathe into it with kindness and compassion. There's no need to fix, do or come up with a solution. It's just about being present with yourself and accepting whatever is going on in the moment without judgment. And just like that child who responds to your loving kindness, you'll find that your thinking also begins to calm as your whole system moves out of fight, flight and freeze and that you can bring some calmness and ease to the rest of your day.